it isn't so. You can still hit the ball. You do not need to know that there is a backhand, a forehand, a top spin, a back spin. But, however, if you want to do anything else with tennis, you must be able to discriminate different actions or different events, giving them a different meaning, giving them different names, or using different signs. Up to when I introduced the, ter the terms backhand, forehand, I, would, I could have kept saying, you can hit the ball this way, you can hit the ball this way. These are mimicry that in echo theories are called ostension, so that you, or semi-ostension actually, because I, I do not have a racket, I am just imitating the, the movement. If you have the terms, you would simply go with the term. Backhand, forehand, top spin, uh, back spin. The point is that in order to discriminate, either you are very lucky, very good observant, or you must get some kind of training. The ability to discriminate that doesn't come intuitively all the time. We can say that after stating that the, the starship of the Federation must, must be round and the Klingon starship must be oblong because when looking at the TV, uh, the TV show, we must tell the difference between foe and uh, friends right away. And that was, and once I have decided that the starship is round, the Federation starship is round for the reasons we have discussed, the others must have a different shape. Once I have stated that, that is fine. That is, uh, we do not need to have a fine tuning to look at the difference. But if you want to go on with literacy of any sort, like this, tennis, you must be, be, uh, you must be able to discriminate. And discriminating means making sense out of what we look around, what we have around. <laughs> at the actualization level, because that is the, the, the good point in uh, that approach of Gramus. Gramus is actually not telling us exactly on what dimension we must decide what is good, what is bad. As a matter of fact, the Gramus tells us that something happens at that actualization level in which we decide for some ideology. <laughs> the possibility to interpret it in th that way is clearly open to any kind of uh, interpretation. Yeah, because I see the round as less aggressive, which is kind of antithetical to what American politics have been in some ways. But not the way we represent but to ourselves. But not the way we represent it to ourselves, absolutely. And then the, the Klingons are all true. Remember in the JFK words when he said, we do not want the hostile flag on, this, on the space we are going to discover. We want a peaceful and prudent banner of freedom. That is a, a, an issue. But you can detect the, where the trick is, as exactly as you said, because Greymas is actually not simply saying, this is good, this is bad. He looks at it dynamically, thinking of, what it must be, what it should be, what is supposed to be, all different modalities through which in the narration at the actualization level you make some choices. Yeah, and the way you, you might interpret it is still in the, in the, in the field of uh, that psychoanalytical analysis of that not all of us might subscribe uh, with. I would, I, I, I preferred to take uh, the 
more social cultural approach and uh, but still you can you can argue and you can work on it in a different way in the passage I had skipped it was this this possible joke Mary asks John will you marry me John replies no Mary says well no problem I will live my, my way it's not funny at all. But get, give it, let's give it another <laughs> shot. World's shortest fairy tale. Once upon a time, a girl asked a guy, will you marry me? The guy said, no. And the girl lived happily ever after and went shopping, dancing, drinking, always had a clean house, and never had to cook, and never had a headache. Yeah. <laughs> now, <laughs> this is the, the plot was identical. But there was a completely different uh, actualization of the, of the issue. Think of this text in the end of a feminist scholar telling you that fairy tales have been always used to reinforce the patriarchal idea that a woman must necessarily ma marry a man in order to be happy. <laughs> this is, you can read it in any way you want. And uh, those readings, must be looked for, according to Gray Mass, in the, <coughs> in the space between the virtual level, which is always the same, in the, uh, in the space between the virtual level. At the virtual level, we simply have single married, non-single, non-married. But if you want to read this, this joke as a joke, you understand that there is a clash between two possible trajectory of meaning. That is to say, in the traditional fairy tale, the patriarchal one, the, the subject starts being non-single because she, she has decided that she must be married to someone. She jump into being proposed by someone and she eventually becomes married. In uh, this narrative, uh, in the narrative uh, of, the, of, the, um, of the joke instead, the, the starting point is always the same, non-single. This girl, according to the fairy tale schema, must decide at a center, certain moment in her life that she might think of getting married. Then, she eventually passes through being non-married, that is to say she was praying for the guy to say no, <laughs> and she is happily single. She ends up being happily single, be and that is the way in which you see that the structure is always the same, the virtual structure is always the same, but this side in this interpretation, the old fairy tale interpretation, this side is the positive, it's the cool one, and this is the bad one. In, uh, in the other interpretation of the fairy tale as a joke, this side is the bad one, she doesn't want to get married, and this side is the good one. That's what I, I meant when I said, at the virtual level, things stay there. You do not exactly understand where you want to go, where you come from and where you want to go. Instead, at the actualization side, where at the actualization level, you make a decision. Where do you want to go? And finally, you will have a choice in your text at the surface level of the text. 